Hey Clyburn. As you know from last week, I've got a lot of new sets to put together. So I figured this week I would put one together. But not one of my new new ones. Not one of the Harry Potter sets. Not yet. This set, Steph got for me at the start of summer. I think I've even talked about it once. And a beach vacation seems fitting for this time of year. I asked Steph and she agrees. The dog days of summer are officially here. I had to look it up to find out what that meant because Steph said it was the hottest portion of summer and I thought it was the portion of summer right before it ended. And I guess in a way we're both right. Did you know that they're called the dog days of summer because of the rise of the constellation Sirius? Apparently it's the most miserable part of the summer. I think at this point most of the whole world agrees that we are in a pretty miserable part of the year. Record temperatures are being set across multiple continents, and what I think we all maybe need is a nice van RV trip to the beach. Either that, or less car cow farts. And maybe both. This is a bit of a bigger set. A nice little camper van packed with and ready for a couple going to the beach. As you know, for the first few years after we got married, Steph and I went to the beach every summer for a week to hang out. There's this little coffee shop called Coffee Waves that we love, and we'd hang out there and play board games during the hot part of the day, and spend the evenings flying kites on the beach or eating at Finn's. Last summer, we did something similar to this, but we went to a new beach where the coffee shop was Starbucks, and there was a lot more island and beach, and more to do, and we had a lot of fun. We haven't actually been to the old beach in a while. It didn't fare well in the hurricane last year, and when we tried to go this year, the rooms were all booked up. Summer's not over yet, so perhaps we'll venture out before then, despite how much there was to do at the beach last year, and I definitely had a great time. The old beach still holds a strong appeal to me. It's a quieter island with a nature walk, a beach, a marina, and lots of restaurants, only one Whataburger. There's a little taqueria right near the place we, sat, we stay where we can go and get breakfast even when we slept in too late to get to the beach before the scorching part of the day. There's a long pier to walk out and lots of container ships, which for who knows what reason are fascinating to me. There's so much familiarity to the Aransas beach on Mustang Island that, even though I haven't been there in several years, I can pretty much place the entire island. And that's what I like most about it. There's so much familiarity. It's odd to think of vacationing without leaving the familiar, but I think in the dog days of summer, the goal isn't to escape the familiarity just the heat. I hope you have a good week. For all of you awaiting minifigs, unless it's the police officer, they are in the mail. Please let us know when you get them. Claiborne, I'll see you on Tuesday. Over and out.